okay hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel um as you must be aware we are we are having this uh, series of videos related with uh, dc transmission systems okay and today again we are doing a special session and this is a numerical example of dc transmission system okay um this example is quite simple and quite interesting. Uh, imagine that we are using a, a bridge connected rectifier. Okay, we have a bridge connected rectifier, and again we want to uh, we want to supply a hundred kV DC voltage to a DC load. Okay, and um, and and this this voltage must be obtained when the bridge is is uh, of course based on thyristors this 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 bridge is working at a commutation angle gamma equal 15 degrees and we have a, a delay angle alpha equal 30 degrees okay and this specific load as you can see over there is uh, it, it require a, 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 a direct current of 800 amps okay but in this case, when this uh, when this device is requesting 800 amps on the DC side, the supply voltage the supply voltage is 94.2 kV. Okay, VL is the line to line voltage AC RMS on the uh, on this rectifier. Okay, this is the supply voltage of the of this uh, rectifier. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry again. Now the question is, what is the effective reactance that we need per phase in this in this uh, in this case? Okay. Well, now it's extremely simple to know. Okay, because um, you must be aware that during my during my uh, classes about HBDC system working as rectifier. We, we identify this equation over here, okay? What is this equation? That equation is giving you the uh, direct current that you can get from the rectifier based on alpha, the delay of firing angle, and gamma, that is the commutation angle, okay? And as you can see here in the denominator, that is basically the value that we are looking for. That is the effective reactance that we need for this uh, rectify okay v sub zero remember that is coming from the dc side and is related with vll again it's related with this beautiful constant three times the square root two divided by pi okay my student prefer 1.35 i will not go in details over there but you can use it okay what is the job here okay it's very simple. It's taking this equation over here. That is the equation that you can find in many books. And we, what we want to do is start from there, the unknown variable. And the unknown variable is um, x. And that is the effective reactance, okay? And if you look over there, you have alpha, you have gamma, and you have also BL and ID. Now it's question of substitution, okay? And if you put the numbers over there, remember that coming from the operating conditions, the line-to-line -line voltage is 94.2 kV. You know that the current is ID is uh, 800 amps. You know that alpha is 30 degree and gamma 15 degrees. And it's something that is extremely simple. What you need to do is just put the numbers over there and you will get that that is the reactance 13.2218. That is the reactance uh, that represents the ohms per phase that you need in this uh, bridge rectifier. Okay. Um, this is an extremely simple exercise. It's another approach. It's calculating the reactance that we need for this bridge rectifier. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this video. This is all for this example, numerical example. I hope that you appreciate. If you want, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. That's all.